your face. Who really knows that it's an open book? But your face really is an open book. And here to talk about it is the world-renowned Garth Riley. Here to read the faces of the mayoral candidates, John Tory, Doug Ford, Olivia Chow. You know, uh, first of all, looking at uh, John Tory's uh, overall face shape, here's a guy that has a set of standards that, uh, you know, he doesn't like to go beyond them. Uh, so whatever he believes is right and, and proper, getting him to sometimes uh, to go on the gray, gray zone, not easy, not easy for him to do. I mean, I'm sure we've, he's learned that skill. He, people find him empathetic. You, you would look at him and feel like he would listen to your story, and you can tell by the eyes, the, the eyes, the way they, they sort of slant on either side, they come on either side. Do you see any mayoral quality uh, or sustenance here? You know, I think we look for, most people look to leaders to be able to make decisions and to not get stuck in the details all the time because they have to make a decision. They're usually where the buck stops. So you could expect that from this gentleman. Uh, because, and it's going to be yes or no. Um, now, if he wavers on something and says maybe, it's probably because he's being polite. He's, uh, he, he thinks about things a lot. Uh, there's lots going on in the brain. Uh, it's because, uh, and he likes to think about things a lot. He ponders things, and they sit in his mind for quite some time. The forehead is closed up a bit here, and the first initial response that she's going to give on anything is mostly going to be, first of all, at first impact, is going to be an emotional response because that's the area that's open. And then what you'll see is that by the chin, it means that she's going to be able to go, kind of go back and forth on an issue and be able to sort of um, see both sides of it. Also? Some people may think of it as waffling. Other people think of it as uh, being objective. Um, you can decide how you want to look at that. This has been a real eye-opener. Any last words? You know, let's face it. You just got to vote. <laughs> you hear that, Toronto? Get out and vote. For the Toronto Sun, I'm Rita DeMontis.